Um, good morning, everyone. So um, if you have ever used R Markdown before, you can probably recognize me. So since about 2014, I have uh, created and co-authored a series of packages related to R Markdown, like the R Markdown itself, and then 2016 book down, 2017 uh, block down. So I'm responsible for a lot of things down, except, <laughs> except the current uh, government shutdown. <laughs> So, so today I'm going to introduce a new member in the R Markdown ecosystem named PageDown. Um, so this is joint work with uh, a, an excellent uh, collaborator. Actually, I, I should say the, the best collaborator I have ever met in my life uh, named uh, Romain Lustio. Oh, it's a French name, sorry. I don't, I don't really, I, I can't really pronounce that name precisely. All right. So uh, just uh, before I get started, just a word of caution. <laughs> this package is still very young, so I would treat it as exper experimental. <laughs> so don't set your expectation too high. Oh, so after this talk, you may feel that, oh, this is great, so we can finally throw away LaTeX and Word, and unfortunately, <laughs> the answer is not yet. There are still many rough edges. Well, why, why do I work, choose to work on uh, this page down package? So basically, this page down just allows you to skip Word or LaTeX, but it, it, it basically creates paged documents from your web pages, like HTML pages. I personally, I have strong belief in HTML. Like, uh, basically, sometimes I just say in, in HTML and the, the web I trust. So basically, the, the reasons are like, so first of all, HTML is very access, accessible because you only need a, a web browser, right? Every, pretty much everyone has a browser, so you, the, the output from page down is an HTML page, so pretty much everyone can ex have access to that without installing any special software. And it's also very easy to embed interactive and rich media on web pages. And it's also much easier to parse HTML pages than PDF documents. For example, if you have a table on your HTML page, it's very, technically it's very easy to parse the uh, data in the table. So uh, the bottom line is that I think HTML and CSS will eventually catch up uh, with LaTeX in typesetting. But it will be difficult for LaTeX or Word to catch up in other aspects uh, of HTML, such as the interactivity. So the installation is pretty simple. You can, so although I have released an initial version of page down to CRAN, I still recommend, strongly recommend you to test uh, this package from GitHub. So you just install that from GitHub. And note that this package re uh, requires a higher version of Pandoc, Pandoc version two, which is bundled, uh, currently bundled in the preview version of RStudio. And because the output is HTML, and I, rec I would recommend you to use Google Chrome or Chromium to uh, uh, view or print the, the HTML pages generated from this package. So the, the usage is pretty simple. So if you are an RStudio user, you can just create a new uh, R Markdown document uh, with the page down output format through the menu file, new file, R Markdown from template, and you can find uh, uh, quite a few page down templates in that list. So for those who do not use RStudio, I'm not sure if you are aware of the name of this conference. <laughs> <laughs> but that's totally fine. You don't have to use RStudio. You can use any editor you like. So the, all the example or the template uh, documents are in the source code of this package. So you can find them uh, in, in the installation directory of your package or on GitHub. Uh, to preview the HTML output from page down, I recommend, uh, like for complicated reasons, as Hadley would say, 
the, the most re reliable to preview a page down document is through the weird R Studio add-in named um, Infinite Moon Reader, or equivalent equivalently you can call a function to preview it. And to generate a PDF from your HTML document, you can just open that HTML document in your web browser in Chrome and print it to PDF there. There is also a function named Chrome Print in this package, but at the moment it doesn't really work perfectly well. So it will be improved in the future. And next I'm going to show you some of the output existing output formats and examples in this package. So the first one I would like to show you is the uh, paged HTML documents. So this is based on another uh, JavaScript library named paged.js. So this is basically a library to implement the W3C spec named paged media properties for CSS. Basically it allows you to typeset your HTML pages through CSS. Uh, but the problem is that no web browsers uh, really support that W3C spec, so paged.js did that job. So it Im implemented that spec so that you can view a paged document in your web browser. The, output, the name of the output format is page down colon colon HTML underscore paged. So just specify that as your uh, output format and you like click the knit button or use the infinite moon reader and you will see a page uh, HTML document in your browser. So this is just a, a screenshot created from uh, uh, from the PDF generated uh, in Chrome. So that, that is what a paged HTML document looks like. So if you open the link here, pagedown.rbind.io, you can hopefully you can see that in your web in your web browser that you've got a paged uh, HTML document. So in this document you can have things like the title page of your book, a table of content, several chapters, math equations. If your eyes are really good, you can probably see the running header uh, on the fourth page. So you can have headers, page numbers, footers, all kinds of elements that you could see as you would see in a PDF document. So besides creating paged documents, you can also create other uh, uh, applications like a business card. So the, on the left-hand side, it, that, that is just a full R Markdown source. So you can see there's title, author, output format, business card, and then the body of your uh, card. So the output would be something like the, the picture on the right-hand side. So this is basically an unsolicited business card I made for Mr. Shiny, <laughs> also known as the president of our studio. Um, you can also create a resume from uh, PageDown. The output format is PageDown colon colon HTML underscore resume. So, and uh, our markdown source basically looks like this. So you have an, uh, you, you can specify a sidebar in the aside um, part. So you can, then you can have several uh, subsections, you can have bullet lists, and in the main area you can have an arbitrary number of blocks, so like listing your education, working experience, so basically each block is a level two header, and then inside each block you can list the details uh, about your resume. So that is what a resume produced uh, from page down looks like. So if you click that link, you can also see a web page that, that, that looks almost identical. So by the way, this is actually a real resume. Although this is just an, an example in the page down package, this is real. So if you are looking for a PhD student with strong computing <laughs> skills and knowledge in bio, bioinformatics, you may consider this person. So. <laughs> And you can also create posters, HTML posters from page down. So currently I have included two poster formats. One is called Poster Relax, the other is called uh, Poster Jacobs. So I will show you what they look like. So this is Poster Relax. Um, uh, well, actually this CSS style is borrowed from uh, another package named uh, Relaxed. It's not an R package, but a Node.js package. I, I only uh, ported their CSS into page down. So yeah, hopefully you can see the, our lovely Carl Broman in the middle smiling at you. <laughs> um, so that is what a, a relaxed poster looks like. 
And then we've got a poster, a Jacobs. Um, I, yeah, I basically, I found this style uh, on a LaTeX website. So that I think this is pre probably very famous in the LaTeX community to create posters. So basically, I, I saw that appearance, and I wrote all the CSS from scratch uh, in one evening after my little kids went to bed. It took me about two or three hours to write CSS. The total number of lines of CSS is only about like a, a little over 100. So the CSS is really simple. And uh, in, in case you are curious, the technique behind the CSS is called the CSS grid, so which allows you to uh, arrange elements on your posters uh, on a grid. Um, you can also write letters with PageTown if you want. So th there's a format named HTML underscore letter. So I, as an example, I wrote a, a letter of recommendation for Amy Tananka, who is a really cool hacker, I believe, in the R community. So the R Markdown source also looks simple. It's from me, Yihui, to the hiring manager in the School of Ninja, the Hackers University. And the address is 404 North Found Road <laughs> in the undefined city in an NA state. So, and then, yeah, the letter would uh, look like this. So you can open that in your web browser and see the real uh, letter. So actually, since this is, uh, this is just HTML, the, as I said, there are many advantages of using HTML. HTML. So, for example, my slides are actually HTML, so I can embed the whole letter in my slides through uh, an iframe. So you can see the letter live here. Um, uh, the one thing that I'm proud of this is that this is probably the first letter in history that contains a GIF. <laughs> Oh, so this shows uh, this show this, this gif shows uh, Amy's talent, and uh, the last gif actually is my description of Amy. She's such a just like such a <laughs> such a cool hacker. <laughs> all right. So well, actually, despite of all these kinds of advances in technology, I feel a little sad that I mean. We, re we receive so many letters and emails every day, and we are no longer excited like 10 years ago, right? Yeah, 10 years ago, you would be excited to e receive um, an email, and now you will be excited to receive a, a, a real letter. So uh, besides letters, and you can also write books with page down. There's a format named bookdown underscore CRC, which is a uh, a format for the publisher Chapman Hall CRC. So uh, just to yeah, give you a quick uh, overview. So this is what the book would like. Uh, actually, this is a real book. The, the book done book reproduced uh, with CSS and HTML. Uh, last, I want to talk a journal format. So before that, I want to mention the, the talk uh, from uh, Catherine Mullen at the USR 2014 conference where she mentioned the history and future of the Journal of Statistical Software, GSS. So that uh, GSS was originally founded by um, Yang Delu. So in uh, Catherine's slides, um, she actually presented the original email of Yang Delu, where uh, you can find his original proposal. So that was in 1995. 1995, that was quite early. It was only a few years after I learned how to put on my own pants and, <laughs> and stopped wetting my bed at night. So in the proposal, uh, he mentioned four points. He, uh, he would like to, uh, to create a journal that is electronic, electronic and freely available and then done in, in HTML and interactive and peer reviewed. I want to highlight two points in that proposal. So the journal should be done in HTML. And I would say that this is quite possible now because of uh, page down and page.js. And then it sh the papers should be contain interactive content. And that is also possible now because we have thing interactive uh, things like uh, HTML widgets and shiny apps. So in fact, we have my excellent collaborator, uh, Roman, 
has actually recreated the style of JSS through HTML and, uh, and HTML and CSS. So I would like you to guess which one is HTML CSS and which one is LaTeX. It's hard to tell, right? It's just amazing, I, I should say. So um, last I want to digress a little bit in this technical talk to talk about something totally non-technical because I feel it is very important. So last year I re read this book by uh, Sigmund Freud and it, I should say it heavily influenced me, civilization and its discontent. Because I could relate this to many things in my real life like PDF and its discontent, Word and its discontent, typesetting and its discontent, journal publication and its, its discontent. There are just so many things I was, I'm not happy with. So basically, the main, the main thing that he talked about in this book was the uh, friction between civilization and the individual. And the friction is, between, uh, is from the um, instinct, uh, individual's instinctive freedom and the uh, civilization's demand for conformity and repression of instincts. So basically civilization is built up upon control, beauty, hygiene, and order. If you look at these words, you may, also, you, you may often think of your journal editor, right? Control, beauty, hygiene, and order. And in the last paragraph of that book, uh, Freud said, uh, so if you, if you survey the aims of cultural endeavor and it, that the means that it employs, you would come to the conclusion that the whole effort is not worth it. And the individual will be unable to tolerate the outcome of the civilization. So yeah, I'd like to repeat, maybe the whole effort of typesetting is just not worth it. It's just not worth the trouble. Last year, the, the quote that influenced me most was this, we become what we behold. We shape our tools and our tools shape us. Sometimes I just feel really confused. <laughs> so when you, if you feel confused, you can take a look at, uh, or you can hear what little kids say and observe what they do. So last Saturday, I told my, son, uh, my, young, uh, my older son, that I, I would come to this conference and give a talk, and I, because every day when I floss or brush, brush his teeth, he would uh, watch a video. So last, last Saturday, I had him watch my last year's art student <laughs> conference talk, and after he finished, uh, so that was uh, blo uh, about lockdown. After he finished, uh, his only comment was, I want to watch Bleepy. <laughs> In case you don't know Bleepy, this is Bleepy and his garbage truck. So, so, yeah, I thought my last year's talk was awesome, but <laughs> of course not as important as Bleepy. So just think about some journal uh, typesetting guidelines, like sometimes you are required to use code, SAM, preformatted keyboards, variable environment option, command file, package, command package, prolong, URL, just so many LaTeX commands. Are they really important? I really don't know, and I doubt so. So it, it, sometimes you just, as an adult, we just forget what our original Blippi was. So why do we write journal papers? Why do we write, write books? To share knowledge, right? Why do we write letters? We, sh we, we, we show our care for our friends or family members, right? So will Markdown and CSS save us? Maybe, because Markdown is very limited. But uh, on the other hand, I, I believe it's very good to have constraints. So, who is causing the trouble, actually? Is it humans or technology? Will CSS save us? Probably not. So sometimes in terms of working, I mean, the biggest tragedy is probably not that people are lazy and they don't work. The, the real tragedy is that people working extremely hard on trivialities, so just trivial things, like typesetting type details. All right, I hope page down can save you some effort in, in typesetting because I, I think uh, HTML, CSS are just fantastic. All right, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, we have time for a question. Hands, please. Who has a question for you? We have one right here. If we can get a microphone up front, please. Do we want to take bets on the pass? Right. We're going for the safe pass, right? Please, say your name and ask your question, please. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Andrew. Uh, one thing that I struggle with, whoa, there we go. Uh, it's really difficult to get our CFO to read anything unless it is in the body of an email. 
So my question for page down is with the CSS that's in it, um, I know when you open it in Chrome you can download external files but in an email client you can't. So could I render that into an email? Render it into an email? Yeah, so you, yeah render the HTML and then you send an email with the HTML file as the body. Yes, yes, there are packages. Actually, the next speaker, uh, Rich, he, he has written, um, uh, uh, what, what's the name of that package? G no, I mean the, the, the package to send emails. Oh, last one. Plus? Last one. Okay, yeah, just ask him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do have time for one more quick question. We've got a hand over here, please. Raise your hand high. <laughs> you don't got it. All right, name and question, please. Uh, one of the reasons for LaTeX popular popularity is uh, equation mathematical typesetting. Where is page down or markdown on that? Uh, for typesetting math and equations? Yeah, there's, there's support from uh, MathJax, right? You know. 